my love is based more than I like it on their performance. But even when I have expectations that are failed, if the source of the love that I'm giving is from God, then I never have to have a conditional <laughs> love. everyone welcome to our <laughs> vlog <laughs> we got up really early this morning earlier than I'm used to them waking up 6 a.m. it's not even 6 right now they woke up at like 5 30 so it's gonna be an interesting day we might need to take naps today I'm gonna make some breakfast gonna read this huh we gotta find Moses because I just got into the book of Exodus in my Bible reading in a year so now we're going to get the girls up to speed when God passes over your house Moses explained they were free at last God's people would always remember this rescue and call it Passover so we're all ready. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and get everything back to ground zero. And then we're gonna go to the grocery store. So yeah. here we go, a quick cleanup. <laughs> So we're gonna go to the grocery store. I love Fry's Click List. I don't know where you live if you have a Fry's, but I order my groceries at friesfood.com and then just do like curbside pickup. It costs $5. I really have not been in a grocery store in so long. It has been glorious. Whoa. I need to Hi, baby. <laughs> Get here and we just call that number. Number five. Oh man, I'm sorry. Thank you. On the way to my last class. Let me show you what I got from the grocery store. It's been a long morning. I think I really waking up at 5:30 made her over exhausted, and now it's like yeah, 9:30. So four hours since she woke up and she's acting so cranky. I feel like my mom patience, it starts off so high and then it just, you know, just to please, to please, to please. I need to have a moment to breathe. I need to like refocus. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be a very kind mom. I'm gonna try to put groceries away and they're gonna watch some TV and that's what we're gonna do because I need to refuel. So if we ever eat cereal, we love puffins, peanut butter. Um, it's non-GMO, organic and really delicious and strawberries are in season right now can't wait to eat these my favorite on the go bars and they're gluten free because lucas is gluten intolerant i love some almond milk we got some 
Natural cage free egg, Simple Truth Organic is my absolute favorite brand. Fruit, fruit, fruit. We buy and eat so much fruit. If I don't watch them though, they will consume like all of the apples on the very first day. So I have to kind of keep the fruit under lock and key. I'm just gonna hurry up and put all these groceries away. Finally got done with the laundry and cleaning up all the bedrooms and now I'm going to chop up watermelon for lunch. Super excited, we're gonna eat like the whole thing right now. So good. <laughs> it's so weird to see her walking because she's so, I'm so little. Glad I, her cute. I didn't realize you were going to be featured in your vlog. I should have realized that. <laughs> Go get the puppy. Oh, an owl. So Bree and her kids just left, and I put Everly down for a nap. And this is the state of my house. Ooh. <laughs> Wonderful. I just love Brie. I love our talks. I love when you find those friends that no matter what chaos is going around in mom world, you can still talk about real life and get in like deep, meaningful conversations. But it just means that we like completely let them do whatever they want to the house. And I'm okay with that. I will clean it up. Now I'm gonna get some work done on my computer and I'm going to let Lila have some watercolor time next to me. And um, she loves to do her work, which I have a little journal for her that she just scribbles in and it's so cute. Gosh, you made that for me. It's so pretty. I know you did. I can I put it over on the table to let it dry? Yeah. Okay. I had an awesome conversation with my friend Bree that I thought that I would share while I have a chance while Everly's still napping. We were talking about loving our husband, our friends, our kids unconditionally, and how to actually do that because like it or not, we usually have expectations of the people that we love. And when they're not holding up their end of the bargain, I like find it hard to continue to love and to um, serve and to be kind to them. And my love is based more than I like it on their performance and how well I feel like they are loving me. And I was just reminded of Jesus and how with his 12 disciples, Judas, he knew the entire time that Judas was going to betray him and yet he still loved him. He still included him. He even on the night that Judas was going to betray him, he washed Judas's feet the whole time knowing that this guy was not in any way, shape or form going to live up to his end of the bargain of a, a relationship. But Jesus didn't let Judas's performance dictate how he would love him. He loved him with the Father's love. He loved him with God's love and he could only do that because he was receiving that love unconditionally from his Father. And we can only give that kind of love. I mean like my husband not doing the dishes after dinner is not anywhere near betraying me to be crucified. But even when I have expectations that are failed, if I'm getting my love and the source of the love that I'm giving is not 
from my husband, but it's from God, then I never have to have a conditional love. I have a well that I can draw from and give always out of. And when I'm doing that, there's no end to the love that I can give. And yes, conversations can happen. And yes, a relationship takes that dynamic of talking about things and saying, hey, this is you know, I think this could be better. Or do you think that you could help out more? And all those conversations can happen. But when they come from a place of me saying, I love you so much, it's not like hurry up and fix these things so that I can love you again. But instead it comes from a place of love. I feel like it could be so much better received. So anyways, if there's people in your life that, that are letting you down or not even just let you down, but just in life in general, just friends and family that you want to love better, you want, you want to love them well. Look to Jesus, get your love from Jesus, and love people unconditionally as he loves you, always giving what you are receiving from him. I know it'll be an awesome uh, way to do relationship. It's the way that he wants us to do relationship. So anyways, I just wanted to share that because it is blowing my mind and reminding me all over again how good Jesus is, how awesome he is, and how living for him is like the best thing ever. Look who's awake. Good morning. It's you, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Hi, Ruru. Good morning. You show me your baby? Oh, so cute. Did you have a good nappy? I'm gonna go Aww. check on their present. I'm a flower girl and Peter is a flower boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a blue butterfly. No, no, no. Don't go yell for Let's now. See, okay. I was shocked. Are you sure, Daddy Laugh? It's two flower girls just throw flowers. What'd you get? Yellow. Oh, you mean blue? Yeah, blue. <laughs> It's a blue color. Yes. Not, e <laughs> not exactly. Kind of the opposite. Suck it. Suck it air. Suck it in there. I love you. Pick out a book to read. Ooh. <sighs> Finally, we meet again. So we made it to the end of the day. That was a long day. It's nine o'clock now and I'm exhausted. I'm ready to take my makeup off. I'm gonna watch something on Netflix, hang out with the hubby and I'm ready for the weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you want. I will see you next time and have a great night and a great whatever day it is, wherever you live.